Yeah, 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 what go down? It's your boy AB and welcome to my channel. On this channel, we're gonna be reviewing some sneakers, some hot anticipated sneakers today. Damn, Palomino ones. Let's get into it. All right, all right, all right, everybody. Today's a special day. And why do you say today's a special day? It's because today, damn, we'll be reviewing, damn, both the retail and the UA. Why did AB grab a retail, you say? Well, to be quite honest, your boy was curious about this Palomalu leather. The material used was interesting to me on different reviews that I've seen, so much so that I had to see for myself. This one right here that is sitting next to me, it could be real, it could be fake, it could be real, it could be UA, you tell me. But after this review, maybe hopefully you'd be able to tell which one is real, which one is fake, in no particular order. Is this a situation of close? or no cigar? Are UAs a close second or are retails just second to none? Though UAs have already began to drop, you know how I feel about the first batches on UA sneakers. I also started seeing early releases of retails. Now, a lot of times when you see an early release, only selected few get a pair, but the streets seem to be flooded with these retails. So I was curious as to see what's going on and let's check underneath the hood. Now, what I have in my hand is a real, Damn! You'll know that this is a real sneaker because I have taken the pleasure to tie the laces. So if you ever get lost within this video, which I'm sure you just may, look for the tied, not laces. The UA Damn! will not have its laces tied. So you will be able to tell that this is a UA simply because the laces are not tied. So try to keep up the upper portion of the sneaker. Damn! On the upper portion of the sneaker, we have that Palomino brown alongside accented with that bread black. And I think it looks good. They did a good job with this color combination. Is it better than the Mocha? Eh, that's up to you, completely your preference. Is it better than a Travis? Eh, again, completely up to you. My opinion on this sneaker, real or fake, color combination is dope. I like the little gold accent, the bread colorway. It looks good, they did a great job. I don't know how I feel about this Palomalu brown leather, but I know you wanna hear more about that. We're gonna stop right there and we're gonna jump into the bread black because I'm calling it the bread black, but obviously because of the bread colorway. The bread black is what we're gonna jump into first. I know, but let's just get this out the way. This is the UA and they did good. The thing I noticed about this is that this leather is a lot softer than the retail. Is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? <sighs> I don't know. I mean, that's completely up to you, right? It's not a retail standard, but it does feel good. And I do like and enjoy how that feels. Sometimes for me personally, it feels like the softer leather is the more premium leather, even though I know that's not normally the case. Now on the retail, damn, this bread black is a lot stiffer. I don't want to say it's less quality. And I don't want to say that because this is how it's supposed to be, right? I mean, I'm no material guy. I don't know materials just like that. I will say it's a lot stiffer and it just, I don't know, man. It just isn't as plush. And I like my leather to be a little plush. To me, it makes it feel of a higher quality. Not saying that this isn't because this looks good. It looks great. I mean, it's Jordan 1 leather. Ah, there it is. It's Jordan 1 leather, man. And the UA is more like a plush, softer leather. It doesn't feel bad, but is it wrong? I mean, that's up to you, right? The cuts of the sneaker are relatively similar. I mean, I, I'm not gonna sit here and measure every single dimension, but they look to be similar. I will say that, that the UA may be just a little bit taller, just a little bit taller, but we're splitting hairs, we're splitting hairs. And at the end of the day, I feel like between these two sneakers, that's what we're gonna be doing the entire time is splitting hairs. I mean, these are split hair differences between the sneaker. I'm not saying that the UA is less quality, I'm just saying it's a little different. And the Jordan 1 retail just feels stiffer. You know how that stiffness feels? premium that's how it feels you know when you get something a little just robust it just seems like it's more premium if you know you know the wings logo Damn! the wings logo on the ua pair seem to be in place seem to look good don't have a problem with it placement looks good it's debossed i don't think they did wrong on this at all they did a great job at placement and the wings logo looks good Damn! 
Now on the retail version, obviously the placement is going to be good. It's going to look good. There's not going to be too many issues with the retail pair, especially when the replication of the sneaker is to replicate where the retail is. So the retail really can be anywhere because it's retail. Wherever Jordan brand wants to put it, that's where they're gonna put it. But in comparison, boom, the UA doesn't look bad. Looks all right to me. Looks all right to me. And now the brown, the Palomino brown. Palomino, Palomino, the brown. Now the differences between the browns are slight, but make all the difference as to how you'll know if you have a retail sneaker or if you have a UA sneaker. Now in time, I'm sure the UA batches will be perfected down the line. This is a first batch, a scary first batch at that. This first batch is so good that while wearing these sneakers, I really had to like look down and like, which one's the real one? I honestly forgot which one was the real sneaker and which one was the fake sneaker when wearing them. The telltale signs on these Palominos is one, <coughs> The rep version is the right color, but doesn't have enough of that ash. And when I first got this sneaker and it didn't have any movement, there was no suede movement on this sneaker. That led me to believe, man, is this accurate? Is this proper? Is this right? It has a little bit of movement, but doesn't have what I thought it would have. And when watching other reviews, bam, when watching other reviews, they would say, not much movement. When I heard there wasn't much movement and this didn't have much movement, I said, oh, maybe it's supposed to be like that. Ah, but I didn't want to give you a review where I didn't know what I was talking about. That's not your boy. It's not why you guys sign up to watch these videos that I post. I had to do my due diligence. And when I grabbed the retail, bam! The retail showed that it didn't have much movement, but it did have movement. You could see that there was movement in this suede leather. Bam! The difference maker here is there is just a little bit more texture on the retail Palomino. You can just see more texture boom, than the UA or rep. Both soft leathers, minor transition, but more texture. Color accuracy, boom. I would say color is correct. Boom. Not much on the color. Boom. It's just that not enough ash. To the naked eye, without it, you're gonna be like, mm, just like I was. I was like, uh, mm, mm. I don't know. I don't know. I need to check this out. Need to look deeper. Need to look deeper. But you won't know unless you have a retail in hand. Another telltale sign between the two, the cut of the leather. Now, the cut of the leather on the UA is two different colors. You've got the Palomino color. <coughs> You've got that color, it's there. But the cut of the leather, you can see the cut of the leather right here. And I'll get a close up on this. I'll show you guys a close up. But all along the edges of the cuts of the leather is a darker brown. It's a different color than the outside. Side. On retail, it is exactly the same all the way around. All the way around, inside, it's all the same color. That to me, ladies and gentlemen, was the biggest telltale sign between the retail and the UA. You won't know unless you have a retail, but you definitely can see that it's a different leather from retail. Looks the same, but ain't the same. And this is why I say they are reverse engineering these retail sneakers and getting as close as they can. And don't get it twisted. This will be perfected in a couple of months. This is a batch one early release. They will have this sneaker perfected. But in the meantime, retail is still ahead of the game. I don't think you can really get got if you really look at the sneaker. If you're a true sneaker head and you know what to look for, I don't think this sneaker will fool you at all. I think that you'll be able to tell the difference between the two. Maybe the tongue of the sneaker. Bam! Tongue looks good, no complaints. If we're gonna get nitpicky, I would say the retail font is a little bit more crispier than the UA, but the UA is good. You're not gonna be able to tell, especially on foot. Looks good. Retail, bam! Cause I know you didn't know. I know you didn't know which one was which. They both look good. I would just say that retail is a little bit more crispy. Still looks good. You ain't gonna lose with either. They're both sharp. Both of them are sharp. It's just, I think that retail just has a little bit of a finishing touch. Just a little bit better of a finishing touch. The toe box on the sneaker, bam! Toe box on the sneaker is good. Preparation is good. Retail just has a little bit more character than the UA. 
New A, perforation looks good, shape looks good, but again, just a little bit more character on the UA. <laughs> A little bit more texture. Something you'll see without a retail? Nah, not at all. You won't see this issue if you didn't have a retail next to you. I'm telling you, if I didn't have this retail sneaker, I'd be over here like, oh, this is a good sneaker. I, I don't know though about the leather. Like, no, it's just one of those things, man, that you have to be able to have side by side. That's how close this race is. You need the side by side, you just do. And hey man, if you learned something in this video, go ahead, hit that like button, hit the subscribe and the notification bell so you'll be notified every time your boy drops a new video. And trust me, there's more where these came from. The laces on the sneakers. Damn! Laces are good, flat black. Nothing really special about a flat black lace. Damn! But I will say that the retail sneaker has a little bit thicker of a lace. Both premium laces, and trust me, your boy's gone through a lot of laces. I know what premium laces are. UA are laced up with some premium laces as well, but the Jordan brand has put that super premium, the thick, the nice laces. These are the nice ones right here. I'm not even gonna hold you. These are the nice ones right here. Midsole of the sneaker. Damn! Soul is nice and strong, tough, doesn't fold like a taco, looks good, no complaints. Retail, Bam! same, of course, does not fold like a taco. It is nice and strong, looks good, feels good. I will say the only difference between the two is maybe like the stars. UA are a little sharper, a little tougher, a little bit more defined than the than the rep. You're never gonna know. We're splitting hairs. This is how close the race is with these sneakers. Now on foot, you know you ain't winning. On foot, you're never gonna know. Insole of the sneaker, damn! UA is a size 10 and a half. The retail, damn! is a size 10, just FYI to let you guys know. Now, I did that one of two reasons. A, just in case they were so alike, I'd be able to tell the difference by the size. And B, the size 10 was a whole lot cheaper than that 10 and a half retail, boy. I try to tell you, boy, they, boy, they are they asking for an arm and a leg for that 10 and a half, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but we got through it, so uh, it worked out. Damn! With the UA insole, it is similar to the retail. I don't have any complaints. It's a, a good thick insole. Damn! I would say there's not too much difference between a retail and a UA insole. They are pretty much the same. I would say the insole on the UA is a little bit more floppy. The insole on the retail is not as, I mean, this is a little bit more stiff here. A little bit more stiff than your UA. Does that mean more comfort? I do not know. When I put both of them on, they felt the same. Mm. Inside stitch, both of them are stitched nice and tight, just the way we like it. Retail was stitched a lot cleaner. Ah, not a lot. A little bit cleaner than the UA. The UA was stitched clean as well, but maybe a hair or two. But of course, again, we're splitting hairs. Inside stitch is good. The outsole of the sneaker, bam! Just your Jordan 1 outsole, nothing special, nothing crazy. Looks good, tough, strong, retail. Damn. Looks good as well, a little bit more defined. With the retail, it's just a little bit sharper. Just a hair sharper than the UA. All the way through, it's just a little sharper than the retail. Smell test. Now you know that retail sneaker smells like Champ's Foot Locker, Foot Action, and that finish line. You already know. Now, the UA. Pass. It passes as well. This smells like finish line, smells like Foot Locker, smells like Foot Action, smells like Champ's. They both have that retail smell. Pass on the smell test. Black light test, they both passed the black light test. There was no ghost stitching, there was no stamps, there was no watermarks. They both didn't have, they came back clean. They both came back clean with no markings on them. It passes the black light test. How comfortable were the sneakers? Both sneakers were Jordan 1 comfortable. I was not able to differentiate between one was more comfortable than the other. They both felt like Jordan 1s. I mean, I, there was just no difference. Both are comfortable. And regardless of a flappy insole and a stiff insole, I mean, they felt comfortable. I had to look down a couple times like, yo, which one am I wearing? I, I, it was just that close. They're both comfortable. Maybe if I walk a couple miles, I might be able to feel the difference between the two after a while. But in the times that I had them on my foot, I could not tell. Both are comfortable, 10 in comfortability. Good sneakers.
Very good sneakers. What do I rate these sneakers on the A, B spectrum? Well, retail, definitely a 10. It is a 10 sneaker all the way. I think that colorway is fire. When I looked at it online in photos, I was kind of on the fence, but on foot, it's a dope sneaker. It's gonna fly off the shelves. It's gonna do everything that a hype Jordan 1 does. It's gonna do it without fail. The UA sneaker, I'm gonna give it a nine. Hot sneaker as well. Nothing crazy wrong about it. I mean, it does have some splitting hair differences between between the retail, which is why I'm gonna mark it down. But the reason that I'm gonna bring it from a 10 to a nine is that the leather, the Palomalu leather, the Palomino leather is just not ashy enough it is the defining factor being able to tell the difference between the two so i'm gonna bring it down a notch it's a nine sneaker i mean on foot 10 all day no one no one's coming up to you you know with a magnifying glass checking you out i am 100 certain this sneaker will be upgraded upon the release of that retail palomino palomino is gonna be perfected and you won't be able to tell the between the two, period. As it stands, the ones in my hand, it's a nine. I like the black leather on the UA a lot better than the retail. That's just my opinion. And I think that this sneaker, both sneakers are super dope. Put it like this. You ever went and got your hair cut and the difference between your homeboy cutting your hair and a barber cutting your hair is just the finishing touch. And that's the difference between these two. It's just the finishing touches on the retail are just better. Simply put, all right, man, I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here. It's your boy, AB. If you wanna holla at your boy on another platform, you can jump on my Instagram at ABHTXX. And on there, your boy takes photos and videos of sneakers that I review and sneakers that I'm about to review. Also, jump in the Discord, man. There's plenty of love inside the Discord. If you have any questions about anything, jump in the Discord. Myself and the family are definitely, definitely down to answer your questions. And while you're in the Discord, take a picture of one of your favorite sneakers on foot man post it on the discord your boy's gonna take that photo and post it on this channel have your feet on my channel hey man it's good vibes only in this studio it's good vibes only and if the sneaker looks good if the sneaker looks this good damn hey man hey man hey man wear it you know what i'm saying it's your boy ab man i'm gonna holler at you all right mate.